Now let's talk about how we find individual notes on our bells. Some bell kits have the note names engraved right on the tone bars. Your bell kit might have the notes engraved on there or they might be blank. Either one is okay because eventually we're going to be memorizing all of our notes because when we move on to marimba or xylophone, they don't have the notes written on the bars. So we need to memorize our notes as we go. When we're learning new notes on the bells, we'll be using something called a note chart or a keyboard chart. This is a picture of our bell kit that helps us to see where the different notes are. And oftentimes the new note that we're learning on our note chart will be highlighted or colored in. Let's use our note chart to find the note D. On our music staff, D is written just below the bottom line of the staff. And you can see from our chart that the note D on the bells is located right below and in between these two upper keys. So find this pair of keys in your upper row and go to the key right in between them, right here. That is a D. Let's play that D with our right mallet. Now let's find the note C. Looking at our music staff, we can see that the note C is a little bit lower than the note D, and it's written with one ledger line crossing through it. Looking at our note chart, we can see that the note C is the bar directly to the left of our note D. So using our pair of two bars here on the upper row, we found our D right here in the middle, and we're going to go down one to the left, and there is our C. Let's play this note C with our left mallet. Center your mallet right in the center of the bar and tap it lightly. Now let's find the note B flat. B flat is written below one ledger line on the music staff. So it's actually lower than a C. So we're going to be going in this direction. Lower is to the left. We can see from our note chart that B flat is in the upper row of keys, our flat and sharp notes, and it's right here, the top note of this group of three here at the bottom. Let's play B flat with our right mallet. Let's review the three notes that we've just learned. D, C, B flat. Point to the notes with me and say them out loud. D. C, B flat. Let's play those three notes using our right mallet on D, left mallet on C, and then right mallet on B flat, like this. If we sing those three notes on our solfege, it's Mi, Re, Do. Can you point to your notes on your bells and sing along with me? Mi, Re, Do. Let's play that. If we sing that in reverse, it's Do, Re, Mi. Can you sing and point along with me? Do, Re, Mi. Let's play that. In our next lesson, we're going to use these three basic notes, D, C, B flat, to play our first song, Hot Cross Buns.